Eyewitness News brings you live coverage now. A campaign 2010 debate. U.S. House District 1, Democrats. Four congressional candidates facing off in a primetime debate. Live right now on WPRI 12 and WPRI.com. We're looking live now inside the Providence Performing Arts Center. It's the first live televised debate for the Democrats in the 1st Congressional District. Each of these men is hoping to succeed Representative Patrick Kennedy in Washington, and for each one, it's his first run for U.S. Congress. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. Tonight, we're going to be talking about some very important issues that affect all families in the state of Rhode Island. But first, we want to thank all the candidates for participating in tonight's debate. And we want to remind you that this is live on WPRI 12, and it's also live on our website, WPRI.com. Now, after our televised portion of the debate at 8, the debate will continue on WPRI.com with even more questions including some submitted by our Eyewitness News viewers. Be sure to log on for that between 8 and 8.30. Right now, let's get down to business. We begin with one-minute opening remarks from each of the candidates. Now, the order was determined by a drawing. Up first is Anthony Gemma. Mr. Gemma is an attorney and a businessman. He is the founder of a marketing firm and former president of a plumbing and heating company. This is Mr. Gemma's first run for office. Mr. Gemma. Thank you very much. I want to take a moment to thank Channel 12 for hosting the event this evening. I also want to take a moment to thank Patrick Kennedy for his years of dedicated service to the people in the state of Rhode Island. But most importantly, I want to thank you, the viewers, for taking time out of your schedule to, to hear what we have to say this evening. So why exactly am I running? From an early age, every value that my parents instilled in me, from uh, growing up in a family of nine children, in a home in Providence, in a single tenement home, to growing a company and maintaining over 200 jobs, to growing a foundation and helping thousands of men and women beat and fight breast cancer, have prepared me for this day. And that day is one of being a public servant. And the best way I know how to be a public servant is to run for congressional office from a way, in a way that I can help from the first congressional office. So with that, we, we need your help to reinvigorate and reinvent public service. And tonight, hope starts with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now David Siegel. Mr. Siegel has been a state representative since 2006. He's also a former Green Party member of the Providence City Council. Mr. Siegel works as a policy researcher and paralegal. Mr. Siegel. Thank you. Uh, my name is David Siegel, and I'm running for Congress because Rhode Islanders want and deserve a Congress member will stand up to powerful interests and win real victories for working families. Our communities are facing serious challenges and we need Washington to do more to address them. Those with money, the big corporations, the big banks, the big insurance companies have far too much power and far too much influence and the hardworking families in our communities have far too little. And I want to go to Washington to be a voice for those working families. And for the last eight years, First as a Providence City Council member, and now as a state rep for Providence and East Providence, that's exactly what I've done. I've stood up to the big banks that were making predatory loans and foreclosing on homes in our neighborhoods. I've helped steer good jobs to Rhode Island families, even when it's met standing up against developers who took millions of dollars in taxpayer money and refused to hire residents to do the work of their projects. I push back against National Grid to bring green jobs and renewable energy to Rhode Island in earnest for the first time. And along the way, I push for ethics reform to rein in political corruption and campaign finance reform to give working families more of a say in their government and those big corporations less. And that's the sort of leadership I want to bring to Washington, and it's why I ask for your vote this September. Thank you. Now David Cicilline. Mr. Cicilline has been the mayor of Providence since 2002. He also served four terms as a state representative, and before his life in politics, Mr. Cicilline was an attorney specializing in criminal defense and civil rights law. Mr. Cicilline, your opening remarks. Thank you uh, to WPRI for organizing, organizing this debate. Uh, our state is facing some enormous challenges, as is our country. Families are worried about their future, whether, worried about their ability to support themselves, worried about paying bills. Uh, Rhode Island has the fourth highest unemployment rate in the country. We see oil gushing into our oceans and the Gulf Coast. Parents are disappointed because their children have to leave Rhode Island to find work, and they can't watch their grandchildren grow up here. 
I'm running for Congress because I want to go to Washington and work hard to change these things. As mayor of a city, I see every single day what's happening to our seniors, our young people, our veterans, small business. I know what works, I know what doesn't work, and I know how to get things done. What we need is leadership in Washington which will fight for working families, which will put working families first and deliver results for Rhode Island. If you give me your vote in September, I promise you I'll go to Washington and work hard every single day for the working families of our great state. Thank you. And now Bill Lynch. Mr. Lynch is an attorney and no stranger to the state's political scene. He's the former chairman of the state Democratic Party. He also served as a Pawtucket City Councilor for six years. Mr. Lynch, your opening remarks. Thank you, uh, Tim uh, and Mike, uh, you as well, and WPRI, uh, and as well as my uh, opponents uh, for being here tonight at this forum. And most of all, thank you, uh, people who are here at PPAC, uh, and last but not least, the people at home who have taken the time out of their schedules to watch us tonight. It's pretty obvious uh, to most everybody that I see here in Rhode Island that Washington does not work for working people. Our friends, family, and neighbors are out of work, they're out of hope, and understandably out of patience with what's going on in Washington. I'm running for Congress to do what I've done my whole life here in Rhode Island, fight for Rhode Island families. Yesterday, I announced my support for term limits for members of Congress, and if elected, I pledge to you that I will only serve 12 years in the Congress. We need to change Washington from the bottom up with significant real change, and that's what term limits will do. Washington is broken, and it's time to make profound changes, and there's no time to waste. Too many politicians in Washington are only looking out for themselves, and adverse consequences of big business and special interests are everywhere. Tonight, I look forward to talking to you about fixing those problems, and I respectfully ask for your support and your vote in September. Thank you.